for years, we've had to listen to the mainstream media call anybody who didn't like the race and gender swapped movies absolute every name in the book. But we're starting to see with multiple people now, multiple people in Hollywood, that they're starting to break the narrative. They're starting to call it out and say it's blown out of proportion. And it came from one of the actresses that got some of the worst of it, which is kind of shocking to me. But uh, good job on Daisy. Daisy Ridley runs massive damage control for Disney. I don't think it's damage control because Disney's putting out more woke stuff. They're still doing the same thing. Says, cl says claims that Star Wars fans are sexist has been blown out of proportion. I think she's trying to sh save her career. Because what we see out of all these actors is once they go to Disney, they kind of never get out of there. In making a break from the popular narrative pushed by everyone from mainstream news outlets to the franchise's actors to the House of Mouse itself, Daisy, Ridden Daisy Ridley has claimed to disagree with the idea that Star Wars fandom, particularly the subsect that has rejected Disney's handling of the IP, is a wretched hive of sexism and misogyny. That's a, that's a good one. I like what you did there. But let's call a spade a spade. There is no way this is anything but a desperate attempt by the House of Mouse to win back the same franchise fans they pushed away and insulted now that its reputation and financial pull is in the dumpsters. I disagree with that because she's the only one saying it. We're not, we're not seeing Bob Iger say, well, our, you know, the people calling us out, they're, they're not bigots, they're not racist, they're not misogynist, they're not, si they're not sexist. It's not Bob Iger saying that. It's not the rest of the Disney cast saying that. It is one person. The actress offered this ostensible PR spin while discussing the upcoming return to a galaxy far away during January 25th appearance on NBC's Today Show. Now let's watch the clip. About how they don't want a female director, which seems bizarre because episodes of The Mandalorian mm. were directed by females. I mean, Kathleen Kennedy. Whoever thought this was a good look needs to be slapped. A, I didn't recognize her, and B, what the fuck is that? I mean, anywho. has been overseeing all of this, so, you know, what is your take on that? I think my take is things get blown out of proportion, mm -hmm. and the interactions I've ever had with people have been nothing but wonderful and supportive. And honestly, the day we announced the, that I was coming back at Celebration last year, you cannot imagine the joy mm -hmm. and goodwill in that room. All right, so that's it. That's all I care to hear about. There, and after sharing her excitement towards being asked to reprise her role as Ray, Ridley was pressed by host Dylan Dreyer for her thoughts on the fact that, speaking of Charmaine, there are some of the, I would say, extreme. Okay, we listened to that. I'm not reading that. Keep going. Let me dig over what she said. So now they go over earlier this month, asked by French Entertainment News Outlet if she could recall how she felt during her surprise unveiling of the Ray film in the last year's Star Wars celebration, the actress detailed it was wonderful, and the things about those conventions are everyone is really lovely and everybody really lovely to each other, and I think a lot of time people online sort of make out there was discourse or whatever. It is that actually isn't shared by a lot of people, and my experience has always been very welcomed. Well, you're wrong, because the numbers prove you're wrong. But it's okay. You're a female, and you're an actress. You're gonna have tons of tons of simp's that that'll bow down and let you walk on them. They would they would literally lay on a bed of glass, fire, and nails because you're female. That's how that works. So yeah, we're just again. This goes kind of. I don't. This definitely is. This definitely doesn't sound like a Disney PR stunt, right? It's not a press release. It's one random person saying it's blown out of proportion. Unfortunately for Ridley, this heel turns... F Unfortunately for Ridley, this heel turn falls flat in... <laughs> Unfortunately for Ridley, this heel turn falls flat in light of the fact that during the heyday of the Disney Star Wars discourse in 2016, the actress publicly pushed the idea that any and all criticism of Rey as a Mary Sue was inherently rooted in sexism. She was probably told to say that by Disney. Because let's be honest, the media thinks they can call us names. And we'll just be like, we're sorry, man. We, we please stop calling us names. 
The Mary Sue thing in itself is sexist because of the name of a woman. She told entertainment reporter Josh Horowitz on an episode of Happy, Sad, Confused podcast. And everyone was saying that Luke had the exact same ability as I think Ray is incredibly vulnerable and nothing she's doing is for, for the greater good. She's just doing what she thinks is right. And she doesn't want to do some of it, but she feels compelled to do so. For me, I was just confused. But th that's it. I, I, I alluded to it when I started this video that it's one actress doing this. I think she's trying to get out of Disney and get more roles. Because you look at what all of these actors do. Once they make a Disney movie, they don't do anything else. Their career goes to die. It's like where actors and actresses go to die now. <clears throat> you, you don't go to Disney thinking you're going to make a great movie. You go to Disney knowing you're just going to get a shitty paycheck because you're on some contract. And you're going to make a few million and you're just going to sit there. And then everybody else in the Hollywood entertainment business is going to be like, yeah, you're kind of a terrible actor. Disney's kind of like the end of the line for a lot of these actors and actresses. And it's hilarious because this isn't what Disney used to be. But you know what? I love to see it fail. And if you want to know how much it's going to fail, I just had a video this morning on Madam Web with the expected six-day opening at $25 million. $25 million. Meanwhile, Oppenheimer and Barbie are getting nominated for awards and making upwards of billions. Because you know what they did? They didn't push sexism. They didn't push, you know, race swapping. They didn't push any of the woke nonsense. They said, you know what? We're just going to make a movie for women or, you know, in Oppenheimer's case, for men. And it was a box office success. And I still hold the opinion if Oppenheimer had not had the uh, adult 18 plus scenes in it and was rated PG-13, I think it would have outdone Barbie. I really do. Because I think that I think that rated R rating for a lot of people is like, oh, I can't take the kids there. I'll have to watch it for myself. Maybe I can, you know, maybe we'll we'll go with the girlfriend or the wife and we'll do the Barbenheimer thing. You know, each of us gets our own movie. And then let's face it, out of that we got Ken. We got Ken. Long live the Cavalution. Anyway, digressing back to what the article was about. Yeah, I I I it's cool. Bounding's calling it a PR stunt, but uh I don't think it is. Otherwise, we'd have a lot more actors and actresses coming out and saying the exact same thing to all these media weirdos, but they're not. I think maybe da uh, Daisy talked to a PR firm and was like, how do I get more out of my career? And some genius was like, well, we can stop with the racism and sexist stuff. She's like, okay, we'll try it. But, you know, if it's not, and she's doing this on her own accord, bravo, hats off. Maybe I will watch another movie that's not Disney that has her in it. But guys, I want to know your thoughts in the comments section. Do you think this is some weird Disney PR campaign to try and win favor back? Or do you think it's just one person saying, yeah, you know what, I just I want to do something more to my career than make shitty Disney movies that flop in the box office? Let me know in the comments section. While you're there, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this one out. Until the next one, guys. Be easy like sleazy.